Hey guys, um, just in the skinning shed, and tonight we're gonna make some uh, well, what we call submarine traps, but down south I see on all the YouTube things we call them colony traps. But for as long as I've known them, they've been called submarine traps. So anyhow, we got here. We got everything we need. I got my container of J clips. See these little guys here, and they fit right in side here. This is a Jake clip pliers. So you put your Jake clip. It's for fastening this wire screen together. So you've got your Jake clip pliers, your J clip. You just put the two pieces of wire that you're connecting there in. It curls down and around, and then locks in place like so. Okay, so that's how we attach the, the things. Got our side cutters. And down here, our mesh. This is a one by one welded galvanized mesh. It's 36 inches. You can get it in 30 inch, 24 inch, whatever you want to use it's uh, depending on the size of the trap you're going to make now you've got different kind of traps you have your round units with a, a metal funnel on the end you've got your square traps the ones I'm going to make is going to be a, a 12 inch square trap with a it's going to be a funnel but it's a square funnel not a round funnel like metal and I'll do another one after with the uh, with the metal, and then I will do one with the flat ones, the square ones with the the flip doors, the little doors that open up. Those are the ones you see mostly on the uh, on the YouTube videos. But so um, different ways you can do it. You can take one piece that's 48 inches long, cut it off, and then just make your bends so that it makes a completely square and you only have to clip one side together you know make one joint or you can use 12 inch pieces four of them and attach them accordingly the nice thing about that is you can take the funnels off at the end and collapse the trap and it doesn't take up so much space if you have to carry it and these are that's probably what I'm going to do with these because this way I can carry them into my trap line they don't take so much room up and uh, then I can just reassemble them in the bush Okay, so I'm going to get the things, the pieces cut off, and then we'll get the film back going on and, and do the putting the thing together, okay? Okay, so you see here we got all four of our pieces cut out. So you're 36 inches long, 12 inches wide, and I've got the first one here put together. Now, when I use these J-clips, I put one every fourth hole. You put two on the end, and that if one at least one spot has two, that stops it from sliding too too much, which isn't a big deal if it does. It just it'll just make it a little easier after. But like I said, three spaces in between, so every fourth one, unless you think you've got really tough muskrats where you live and if you think they can force that apart then put one in closer than you want so now that's got the one joined together with the other one and now I will do the same thing with this one the uh, one thing I do want to mention is these pieces that like the lengthwise runners that you're uh, attaching together put them on the inside so that it's easier for you to uh, attach. Yeah, I'll show you here. Okay, I'll just grab a J-clip and show you what I mean. That's just a little thing that you see. This way the two runners stick right together and you can clip it easy. If you put it the other way, the ones going this way, 
they leave a space. And if you happen to get both of them facing the other way, sometimes your J clips will miss the connecting. So you just put them together, squeeze that J clip on there, and it's attached. And I'll put another one on that one. Okay, and you see what I mean by if you only put one, how far it'll travel? It'll travel a total of almost two inches back and forth. So you put the second one on there, and then it only moves a quarter inch or so. And if you want, you can put a third one on there. There is, on the one inch ones, there is room, and that'll, and I'll show you, and that'll stop it from moving at all. Sometimes it's a tight squeeze to get that third one in there, but we'll see if we can do it. There you go. Now it can't move at all. It's as tight as it's going to get. So now I'll finish attaching this one and the final one, and uh, then I'll turn the camera back on. All right. Okay. So here we are. We got the the four pieces all put together. You see, this is what it folds down to, and you just open her up and you've got a 12 inch square trap now we just got to add the square funnels at the end or if you wanted to you could put the flapping door on it but I wouldn't do a, a 12 inch deep one I put a 12 inches wide maybe six inches or eight inches deep if you're gonna just put one of the flip doors on it 12 inch doors a little bit more weight than you you probably want in there but anywho, this is uh, the main body of the trap. You know, there's a few things you still got to do. I, I generally put a spacer in here, 12 inches high, 11 inches wide. Attach it on there. It'll lay flat right in here, like on the inside. When you transport it, you just stand it up, attach it up here with a piece of wire. And I'll show you that after. And that holds the whole thing very solid perfectly rigid and then you can get your funnels in there and stuff and then we got to you know cut a door in the top also so but first I'm going to cut up the uh, the funnel pieces and I'll show you that once I get them cut into shape all right okay so now when you're doing the square funnel you got to decide how big you want and you got to decide too, you find out what your regulations are for your area because I believe some areas have size restrictions on the size of these submarine or colony traps. But see, this here, 36 by 12 inch piece again, this will make one half of a funnel. I've cut the other pieces out already. Um, so this is with the two pieces put together so far, I got to add the other two on. I'm going to have a five, six inch and a five inch opening at the end with a door on it. Now this is 17 inches across here because what happens, you got 36 inches, you cut in the center, you cut the center two inches out um, because if you just cut one inch you're going to have an 18 and a 17 obviously so you want them to be the exact same size. And now I'll show you how you cut this down to and if you wanted a longer funnel, you just make this 14 inches instead. You know, if you wanted a, a more gradual funnel, this one here, you know, is going to be a fairly blunt angle. You know what I mean? It's, it's not going to be a long, skinny funnel. It's going to be a short, flat one. So you could just, if you wanted a longer funnel, you just add two, add four inches on. The more you add on, the less space in between inside your your trap there's going to be. So now here to get the funnel shape you do. I start I started this one at two inches up you cut this side then here, here where are we? okay and then right here again then two snips up one over Two up, one over again, two up, 
one over. And the last one, we do one and one. Okay, so now that's going to give you the angle for your funnel, you see. Okay, there you can see it better like that. Now we do the same thing on the other side. We just go, okay, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, seventeen inches right there. And make sure you do it seventeen. Count it again before you cut it, so because if you cut it too short, you ain't gonna cut it again and it'll still be too short. So two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, seventeen inches right there. Okay, same thing. Two. Then one. Two. And then we trim off this piece and see this leaves you with your five inch door. Now a four inch door is plenty big enough for the muskrats. So there's your other half of your funnel or the third piece of it. So you see you got these two. You just join them on here with your J clips like so. And I'll cut the other piece out of here and then show you as I join them all together, okay? Okay, so right now I'm gonna join these last two pieces together and then I'll join all four of them together. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna, to start, hook these two right here. Get your J-clip in there. connect them is all the high pieces here right there and the next one down this is where you gotta just make sure you get them close enough together that you don't miss the one piece of metal in the clip. Okay, one more. And then we can attach it two halves together to make a, well, well you know what two halves, when you attach them together what they make, right? They make a hole. So we just bring it around until it's in the spot. And then we attach these guys. If you don't have the J clips, all you need to do, take a piece of hay wire through there, twist it, cut it off, that'll work just as well. 
these J clips. You can buy them at the the FHA trap store. It's uh, called Trap Lines for Trans Canada Trap Line. Really good guys to work with there. They they got lots of gear and just about anything anybody needs. thing about using the these screen funnels instead of metal ones the metal ones are nicer because you have a perfectly round funnel and you can make them square like this too if you just want to cut it in that shape but the thing is you spray paint them black and then there's a little hole right in the center and that is just a it looks like a, a muskrat den they just see that hole through the blackness and and they aim right for it Two, they're going to be a, a pain, so I'm going to wire them together. Got some wire right here. And you don't want to leave too big of a hole there. Said you could make it a four inch and a normal you know I would always four inch is the common door size for muskrats so here we just close this down twister now you don't want to twist it this wire so hard that you break the weld on the screen okay so just make sure you don't over twist just once around is plenty good. Snip off the end. And same thing on this side. So don't want this wire to be able to hang up your door. And one more right here and then we're good to go.
Okay. Well, that's one funnel. Now remember, this is a 12 inch square trap. So I'm going to set it on the ground here. I'll show you. The spot that I'm making this for is wider than the 12 inch square. So this funnel now is actually 17 inches square. So it's going to sit right in here. It's going to get attached all the way around like this. And you see, you've got a 12 inch trap, but there's a 17 inch opening that's being blocked. And then we have a, a little door that we put on that. And we'll have a piece big enough for the strap to cover that. Well, yeah, just barely. So we'll do that. thing up and then when we put the door on we don't tighten the uh, J clip down really tight we don't want them want it to be you know overly stiff so what we're, we'll do is just put a three J clips on pretty loosely well we actually five because we'll put Again, turn it around so that the wire is just pretty loose. And on the one side, I'm going to put two so that it can't slide back and forth too, too much. And then one in the middle. now you've got your funnel and the rats just come in push that open and it goes back they head into here and it stops them from all right okay so there you you've got your trap with your door see that your door just swings open and then gets pretty much closed and you're good to go and these traps don't have to be made both ways. You can make one-way traps where you'd put this funnel on here and now just block off the back end with a square piece of um, screen. But, you know, usually you're going to want them both ways. And if you made this 12 inches and 12 inches deep, the end of your funnel would be into here and the other end would be into here. So they'd have more room for the muskrats to pack themselves in here. Less chance of them getting out. Um, although, I, well, I almost just said, I don't know of one that ever got out of my trap, but how the heck would I know, right? If it got out, it wouldn't be uh, coming around to brag about it. But anyways, the, you know, there's you generally, the rats are in there and who knows if they get out or not. But, as long as there's some in there, we're good to go. So I'm going to make another one of these funnels, and then I'll show you when I'm done the finished result. And I've got a place to set this tomorrow. So I've got a couple days of rat season left, but I'm just going to set it and try it out and see how it works. I said I haven't used these. I've got a couple of the round submarine traps in it. You might have seen them on the videos um, with the metal funnels. But I don't have any of these square ones. I used to use them all the time in Ontario. 
haven't really done too much with them out here. Out where I trap, it's not a there's not a ton of places where they're of much use. But you know, if I trapped out in the farmland more, I would have an awful lot more of these I've got. I have I think um, four of the round ones. And I'll try and get a few of these square ones, but like I said, I've got a perfect place for this one in on my trap line, so you know, so all I'll do, I'll make the other funnel. It'll sit like this inside this one, sit right inside here when I take it out into the bush. And then this guy here and any other ones I make will just fold up flat and they'll just transport like that and I'll put them together out in the bush. So, Alrighty, I'll get that other one made and turn it back on. Okay guys, so here is the uh, well, almost finished muskrat trap. I just got to put the door on the top here and then put a handle over here. But you see what I mean about covered a little extra space with the actual trap is still one foot square. Now, because I'm going to be you know carrying this in the bush. Um, traveling with it, not right now, but next fall when I get onto my trap line. Um, you know, I would normally use the J clips or wire to attach these funnels, but you know, because I'm going to take them apart, I just snap ties four on each end, one just in the center, and then just clip them off. They, then you just take your. Uh, pliers after, snip them right there, the funnels come out, pack the two funnels together, and you're good to go. Well, one thing when you're putting the funnels in there you want to remember to make sure you do is put both the doors the same way. So muskrat swims in like this, closes the door. They jam themselves in the corners and get caught but you want to make sure the other end has the door swinging both, you know, the hinges on the top on both sides. Alrighty. And then like I said, you can, you can stuff bait in these things if you want, but they work best in some kind of a run or a creek. And uh, this one going into a culvert under the road. So that will uh, be that. And I'm just going to get the door. And I'm going to cut a five inch hole in the top for the door. And then I'll put a, if you have a five inch hole, a five inch square, you're going to want a seven by seven piece of screen to put over because you want at least an inch of overlap on each side. Your handle. I just like so. I don't know if you can see that. Okay, it's just a piece of wire in the middle. Wrapped around. The other end, same thing into here. And there's your handle, and the door is going to go right here in the middle. So it will be, like I said, five inches. So that's four cuts. See, you want it five because four is just your. hands end up getting scratched all the crap on these things. So 
see. Now that gives you enough room to get in there and get around. I will cut the uh, piece off here. And I'll turn her back on when I have the door all finished up. All right. Okay, so we got our door cut. And you're gonna want, you go back, here's the edge. Just go back an inch. Like so. And a couple of J clips. Or if you wanted to, you could use your uh, snap ties for this. But since these like J clips or snap ties aren't expensive, but they cost more than a J clip, so and I have J clips, so I'll just use them. Now you got three. Oh, I doubled this one up. Can't. Okay, well, it's going to be tough. One in each end, one in the middle, and then one of them. Just double up so it can't slide back and forth. And okay, now you're going to want this here will be your wire to hold the door closed. Take a snap tie here. You always gotta just wonder though, are the muskrats gonna chew on these? I've never had them chew on the snap ties because they're white, but you never know those goofy little things. So I usually just have another wire loop here. Yeah, I'm not gonna do that. Snap tie on there. They could deteriorate and break eventually, so, so make it bend right there. Then your wire just goes through your little latch like so. Pulled up tight. There, and your door is held shut. And perhaps done. Now what I would do if I had more time, but I'm gonna set this tomorrow so I don't have the time. But when I'm doing this ahead of time, this would get spray painted with a flat black paint just so that shininess is gone. And uh, after the wrapping, which is only going to be open for another few days, I'll, uh, that's exactly what I'll do. I'll take it out, get it cleaned up, and then just spray paint it. And these snap ties, you know, you just go buy a tub of them like this. I don't know how many there is. There's 650 in here for ten dollars so not gonna break you all right so that's the one version of a submarine aka um, what do they call a colony trap yeah that's it like I said where where I grew up I had never heard of a colony trap, they were just submarine traps, so. But if that's the new, new buzzword, what they're called, that's what we'll call them for now. Alrighty. Okay, have a good one. And uh... Okay, so that's the end of the evening now. Um, I was going to do a little bit more stuff, but apparently 
it's uh, getting late. My wife just phoned me from the house. I'm in my skinning shed. She just phoned me from the house. And, and since I got to get up at 5.30 to go to work and it's 1 o'clock now, <laughs> she says I better get in the house. So, Anyways, we're out of here. Good night.